Hey guys, welcome back to the garage. Glad to have you here. This is the engine out of this 1994 Saab 900. It's headed for a total teardown and rebuild. So I blew the head gasket on this car in the fall and, and just let the engine sit through winter thinking it'd be my winter project. Well, my buddy Ted and I pulled the head off just the other day. Look out, it's raining. We are greeted by about, uh, I don't know, half an inch of water pooled up in cylinder number one. It was rusty and nasty looking. That was pretty frightening. And then as we got the water drained away, it left well, really kind of a mess, a bunch of staining and, and gunk on the inside of the cylinder wall. But most concerning is there's some little level of pitting right here. And it seems like the only thing to do now is to take this block out and see if it can be honed by a machine shop and brought back to life. Certainly hope that's the case. So step one in that process is to uh, separate the engine block from the transmission. It's just a series of bolts holding the two things together, so those are out of the way. When we get the engine hoist, let's lift it off and see how that goes. Nothing really tricky about this, just unwind the bolts all the way around and eventually it'll come apart. You will need to remove the oil pickup tube. It draws oil from the bottom of the crankcase. The end plate is next to come off. Again, untwist a series of bolts. Two nuts bolt the piston's connecting rod to the crankshaft. When the cap comes free, it reveals the condition of the bearing surfaces. Nothing ugly in mine, so no scoring or signs of wear I could tell, but they're going to be replaced anyway. The pistons came free with just some gentle tapping. And after 26 years and 140,000 miles, they're discolored, but again, no scoring or signs of obvious wear. There he is. A little wobbling works the crankshaft caps loose. All right. And uh, these are all numbered. And I'll show you here. You can see the little number there, which will help you make sure they all go back in the right order. I'm assuming this crank is not going to just fall out of there. I don't really have an engine stand, as you can see. I'm doing it just on this little lift cart. Those bolts are out. And bearing cap, wiggle that guy out of there, and there comes the crank. <laughs> One sub crankshaft out. All right, guys, so we got this far, huh? The crankshaft is out, we're down to a naked engine block, and these two pieces fell out when the crankshaft sort of came out into my hands, and I didn't really see where they went, and I think this is called the thrust washer, but I'll figure it out. There are plenty of guys out there willing to help in the various Saab groups, and that's what's so great about working on these cars. There's a great community to help us all get there. All right, as I always say so often, guys, I don't really know what I'm doing, but I got this far. If I can do it, you can too. Get out in the shop, get yourself dirty, and I'll see you when this engine block comes back from the machine shop and we're ready for reassembly.